Oh dear. Welcome guys. Wolverhampton is back in the news again. Uh, this time they're on the BBC. So what happened was there was actually uh, taxi checks in South Ribble and uh, Preston, which is up north. which is about 100 miles away from the uh, West Midlands. And they've hit the news again because the stopped about 200 taxis or private hire Ubers um, and they've reported that every vehicle that was unsafe or had faults that they had to be reported or they got taken off the road for safety concerns they were all Wolverhampton so every every car that they stopped um, the ones that had all the faults and all the problems and all that were unsafe were Wolverhampton licensed so a local council has come out and said, um, if you are going to use Uber and stuff like that, make sure you use a local licensed Uber uh, because they'd obviously go through stricter safety tests and stuff. I'm assuming that's what they're saying. So when you book an Uber, they're saying if it comes up Wolverhampton, go with one that says Preston or a local North licensed vehicle, which I think is a bit... Uh, a bit sketchy, innit? So I'm going to read this article to you, a bit of dramatic reading. But it's on the BBC and it's titled Warning Over Uber Taxi. Uber Taxi is licensed 100 miles away. Police in Lancashire are being warned about using private hire taxis that are licensed in other parts of the country. The warning comes after spot checks of more than 200 cabs operating in South Ribble and Preston. All the vehicles that were taken off the road or found to have faults were licensed in Wolverhampton. Let us mention that 96% of taxi driver licenses issued in Wolverhampton in the last year were found for people living outside of Wolverhampton. <laughs> Councillor Jane Bell, chair of South Rebel Council's Licensing and Public Safety Committee, told a recent meeting they were all Uber taxis licensed in Wolverhampton. So please be very careful when you use an Uber. You may not be safe. You certainly won't be safe as in our taxis because our policies are very strict and are stricter than a lot of boroughs. Licen uh, Lancashire Police said about 85 of the vehicles stopped during the summer operation were licensed in Midlands City um, despite it being over 100 miles away from Central Lancashire. Drama. Why is it, guys? I don't know why. Is it just because uh, it's such a popular council? But every time you hear anything in the news lately, it's all about Wolverhampton. Do you know what I mean? It's mad, isn't it? So, um, yeah, it's a bit mad. Talking about licensing, maybe easy or harder tests. A uh, little side note, if you're licensed with Liverpool um, Council, don't forget, you've still got to do your part two after doing your part one. I've actually started my part two this week, and it's back into training. I'm going to do a video on it, but it's back into training again. Uh, and now they're testing me to make sure that what I've done in the last six to 12 months is right. So now they're testing me after being a private hire driver for so long. So Liverpool is very strict with their drivers. So normally, if you see a Liverpool plate of driver, they're normally quite... Um, because they've been through all the wars, the knowledge test, obviously, all the training. And now after six months, 12 months of being licensed, you've got to go back into training for part two, which I'm currently doing this week. So very strict. And I think myself personally, going forward, they should just make all councils have like a like a blanket training. Do you know what I mean? So the, if the UK government come out and go, every council needs a basic, say, basic knowledge test. Or a basic English and maths test, or a basic like uh, you know the equality test of like uh, teaching you about the rights and wrongs of people and all stuff like that, or like um, loading luggage or whatever, whatever the basics, the safety taxi test and stuff like that. They should start doing that, but have a basic blanket rule over all councils, so there's no easy councils or harder councils. There's everyone is just equally quite safe and secure, and I think if they do that then a lot of people will just go to their local council. Do you know what I mean? Imagine all councils, yeah, have the similar tests, similar safety checks, similar, say, knowledge tests to a certain degree. And um, obviously um, similar costs. If all that was the same, 
why would you go elsewhere? So I know, like Liverpool, lads in Liverpool go to Wolverhampton because it's cheaper, it's easier, and it's quicker. Quicker is a big point than going with one of the three Macy's side plates, Nosley, Sefton, or Liverpool. Um, so that's why a lot of Wolverhampton drivers in Liverpool live and breathe in Liverpool. But they went down there to shortcut the route and get a quick badge where there was a bit of a queue in our local ones. Um, so that's the reason why Wolverhampton is so popular, because it is a bit easier. Maybe it's from your local council and it's cheaper and it's faster. Do you know what I mean? So maybe going forward, that's something you could do. Let me sell personally. I don't care where you're licensed, to be honest. I just want to make sure that all people that are driving a taxi are actually half decent at driving a taxi and obviously not dangerous to the public or to other road users and stuff. Do you know what I mean? My family uses taxis all the time and stuff and I don't want them to get into a an Uber and it's an unsafe vehicle or, do you know what I mean, a terrible driver or whatever. Do you know what I mean? The out-of-town stuff, that's... That's not license dependent. People go out of town, all the Wolverhampton out of town drivers. It's not Wolverhampton. Do you know what I mean? It's literally all out of town drivers, they do it. Do you know what I mean? Like when Liverpool's at home, you see Rochdale, don't you? You see um, Manchester, you see Bolton, you see um, all of them. Um, loads of Sefton, loads of Manchester Sefton drivers come over. Nosley drivers from Manchester, Wolverhampton. So it's not. People hate on the Wolverhampton badges and blame it for everything, but just that this news article, once again, <laughs> just shines up, doesn't it? Just shines and just points them in the um, in the news again. Let me go in the comments, guys, what you think. Um, are they unlucky? Or there's just so many of them that they're always in the news? Do you know what I mean? Because there might be bad eggs in Sefton, Nosley or Liverpool, but there's not as many because there's not as many licences. Where Wolverhampton's got licences all up, the, up and down the country. So is that why they're in the news more than, or oh, they are actually bad cars, bad drivers, whatever, whatever? Let me know in the comments, guys. And also go check out the article, give it a little read. It's on the BBC's website. If you just Google Uber taxis licensed 100 miles away, it'll come up first in Google. Go and have a little read of that. Let me know in the comments, guys. And as per usual, thank you very much for watching. Do us a favour, it pops up with a couple of videos. And also click the subscribe button by clicking my logo. And then it pops up with the subscribe. Or it's in the corner of the video. Please subscribe to the channel. It's free to do so. And if you want to become a member and get members-only content and members-only perks and it supports me financially, do that as well. The link below the video it's called, it says join. Just join below. And uh, yeah, it's much appreciated. Thanks very much for watching, as per usual. And let me know in the comments what you think of this bad boy. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go for an a little all-you-can-drink-and-eat brunch in town. So that's me partying. And, uh, yeah, I will see you on the uh, on the next one. Probably a little bit rougher. <laughs>